GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival Creative Mode. Uh, sorry about my voice. I have the, the, the plague right now and my voice is really sketchy. <clears throat> um, I just wanted to show off some stuff here. I'm going to put this up on the workshop. This is my little mini miner. HV that I just built. Now it is level 20 because of the tier 2 drills, but what I'm going to do right now, here, let's, um, you know what, I just, I just moved some stuff around. I moved the corn stuff into a better spot, so let's redo this. We'll, um, let's do, yeah, let's, let's actually, let's just redo this. Let's open it right in. We will go into, GTI Mini Miner, and we will overwrite that. Okay, so now that's in the right position. Now you saw the stats on that. Uh, it's not that bad. For six T2 lasers, it's pretty. It's 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 quite doable, especially by the time you hit level 20. You should have these these mats, no problem no problem and that's actually uh, the um, the combat steel blocks on it uh, which few there is there's just a little bit on the outside back really uh, okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make another one uh, let's publish that And what I, what I can do actually is just give you a quick show of it. So it's got a constructor. It's got a couple of harvest containers. It's got a fridge, um, an air station there, an oxygen station. It's got a sealed cockpit. So it's its own, you know, um, so if you lose a block, it's not going to get breached. Now that that means that you can't stand comfortably. It's not like a box top style where you can stand inside it or nothing. That's not what this is meant for at all. Um, it's got some lights in the front with a landing gear on the front because that's how I need to connect it into my CV mini miner that I made. This thing rocks. This thing is unbelievable. So, this thing is fairly cheap too. Um, it warp has warp and a mobile, or so, sorry, not mobile, but a um, an advanced constructor. This is very feng shui. You can see the floor is made of cargo um, not all of it mind you but the the core is right there that's the only place unfortunately that it would actually go um, and that is actually the only block left that has any space left in it so if I wanted to put a a passenger seat that's it would have to go on top of the core currently but it's doable. It is doable. You can also pop that light out and put another one there and put the light somewhere else, I guess. I don't know where else you could. All these other blocks are taken up. Um, yeah. Oh, I guess, you know, down on the floor here, right there. Right there. So that this block has an empty space in it, too. So there's two empty blocks inside that's that one and of that one <laughs> yeah okay um but as you can see it's got full warp and i even put a repair station in i mean at this point if you have these laser drills on the front you're level 25 and you can afford 
all of the mats. If you can't, then why are you making a level 25? Well, you should be able to. Anyway, let's take a look at the stats on this one really quick, too. You can see iron just over 1,000, uh, just over 1,600 sathium. 377 copper, 600, just over 600 silicone, 1500 neo, uh, 817 cobalt, and 521 of both, both Arrestrium and Zask. Now, that's not that bad. That's because of the um, the warp and the um, the drills, mostly. It's mostly the drills. I think it actually is all the drills. <laughs> no, no, I think about it. Because I think the advanced constructor and the um, warp only requires Neo and Sath. So, there you have it. We have um, <clears throat> my, my Mini Miner, CV Mini Miner. Now, you, you can always pop these off and just go without the turrets if you want. And that makes it really sleek. You can fit into tight crevices that it digs but it's it's not that big of a deal i've i've dug out a whole nation worth of of ore with it already live on the um on the gti server so i have this going on the gti server already and it kicks ass it is probably my best cv i've ever made by far it doesn't look the greatest and it looks stupid tall and thin but you know what it can dodge stuff very well and that's what you want. You want it to be able to dodge. You're not into fighting. But if you need to dodge, it can dodge stuff. Um, you're better off to be nice and thin like that. It's it's not super long. It's actually fairly small for a uh, CV with warp and an advanced constructor. With a couple of spots, potentially for passengers. And uh, some turrets on it. I mean, you could put more turrets on it if you want, but uh, uh, and even a couple of drill turrets if you wanted. But the drill turrets are not even close to as effective as the six turrets at the, at the front. Um, I guess you can always put one in your cargo box, and if you get jammed in somewhere, I guess you can throw that on, pop it on somewhere, and and then zap, you know, unjam yourself. Use it using uh, the 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 drill, or if you can't get to something. I guess, because, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But but you but you get more range out of the, the turret, right? So you get 80 meters as opposed to 40 meters with the, uh, with the cannons, with the laser cannon drills, laser drills. <coughs> Excuse me. So there you have it. These two, um, in a nutshell... The companion, these are the GTI. Uh, my version of the GTI mining vessels at this point. Uh, it doesn't accompany, it's not a, a full mining vessel. I mean, I'll probably, I might make a more multiplayer friendly one, but this is definitely kicks ass for single player, let me tell you. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you in the CV here was I did not put a fridge in here because alpha eight, you don't need a fridge so much as, as long as you got a food processor, leave the stuff inside the input on the food processor and you'll be good to go. So there we go. It needs 80 oxygen to fill. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. I didn't put any sentry guns on it. You can do that if you want. You know, I, I, I think I'm going to. I think I probably will. I'll probably put like all eight on the bottom. <laughs> and just when I want to, I can just turn them all on and just like blanket whatever I'm landing at with with sentry gun fire just to clear it out to so that I can go jump in my HV if I'm landing with an HV miner, right? So so that makes sense. I'll probably do that. But I can leave that up to you guys to, to add more or retract. Uh, I might even update this version without the weapons on it. Um, 
going for as cheap as possible, I guess. But eh, like, like I said, at this point in the game, if you're making a level 25 CV, then you can afford the four minigun turrets. Okay. Anyway, this is my version. This is how I'll be spawning it in. I don't want to make too many versions of it. I'll make a couple of versions of this one, and we can do that right now, actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop off these drills. So this is level 20, the way it sits with... Oops, I didn't want to pop that off. Ah, I'll have to repaint it. <laughs> Come on, get in there. Come on, right there. Okay, that's okay. We can we can repaint. We have the technology. Uh, okay, let's take these out. drills this thing now only costs uh, 288 iron 241 silicone 45 sath and 252 copper uh, pretty expensive for a little starter HV because that's really all it's capable of at this point although it does have a constructor uh, but it is armored and it has weapons I guess um, I might spawn this in as a starter, but I guess I think what I'll do first is let's let's put uh, we're gonna put some regular drills on it. I know hideous, right? Come on, stop it! Get in there. Thank you. Okay, so I, I actually spent a bunch of time um, trying different positions for the hover jets and stuff on this thing. And trust me, what I got right now going, you'll be surprised at how nimble and how stable it is. Even though it doesn't really auto-correct itself very well, it doesn't try and dip over. It's really trippy. It's, it's actually probably the easiest HV I've ever e easiest HV I've ever driven and it's pro it's definitely the easiest HV to drive that I've ever built okay I'm not sure about with these drills on it though I built it with the T2 drills so okay so let's uh, paint these up too we might as well right let's get this all painted here now because this is a level 10 thing I think leaving the armored um, blocks on it are fine because you should be able to you should be able to get sathium um, hmm. although I mean, this is all prepped just to, to upgrade those drills, right? That's the thing. That's the sweet thing about this. What What is it right now? It's level 10. It's not cheap. It's only 45 sathium. That's really easy to get. That's really easy to get. Like, wow, a couple of golems, really. I mean... That's, that's, 
a lot easier than you might think. There's there's like capacitor devices that you loot from drones. Um, other stuff you loot from drones can give you Neo, the uh, golems are early on on starter planets. Um, any of the armored plating on it on the Titans or any of the crashed vessels. So. I don't even think I'm going to strip that down and take that off and make it just iron. I might just leave it like that, because that way it doesn't need to be upgraded right afterward once you hit level 20 and, and upgrade the drills. Because that's all that needs to be done at that point, is you hit level 20, upgrade the drills, you're done. You've got a kick-ass drill machine. This should be pretty decent right now. And let me finish painting it, and then we'll take it out. And and we'll try it out with the... Um, you know, do I got every all of these now? I think I might got it all. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So let's, let's take it out then. And let's, for starters, I ungrouped all that, so let's do an auto group again. We're going to go back into our engines and group all those together, the RCS, group that together. You can see I used a dozen RCS in this little thing. I know it sounds ridiculous, but trust me, on a mining HV, uh, Actually, and even any HV, just any HV, period, over RCSing is definitely the way to go. It's just, it makes it easier to aim your weapons, it makes it easier to turn, it makes it easier to just do everything. Okay, um, so now that I got those all, all those grouped, we can turn those on. Now let's crank the fuel up. So here's the view from inside the cockpit. We'll raise up. Now personally, I don't use the inside view unless I'm inside of a, a node. So we can go drill in right away. I'm gonna turn the light off. You can see it just no problem eating away at and we're hovering at three meters. Now this this is creative mode, so the uh, so the moon is made out of solid cobalt and with a crust of silicone. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but yeah, it's just creative mode anyway. It doesn't matter. It's not. This isn't what it, I remember this in experimental, uh, right? In early experimental in Alpha Eight, it was like this, and I guess they didn't care. They just looked at like this creative because it's fun okay so let's see how maneuverable it is let's see if we can just spin around it looks like we're able to I'm just gonna try and flip completely upside down while drilling and spinning although the spinning part will prevent us from flipping see we, we can face whatever way we want and we're just instantly back out okay so let's go into the other view see what it's like in the other view And you can see it's it's getting the ore pretty quick. So like a voxel mine, it would eat it up pretty darn quick. And you can see, I can have. I'm actually purposely trying to get this thing to flip over and stuff. And even when it does, I can just mouse it out. Uh, trouble, mouse it out of trouble, literally. Like just da da da. I'm not hitting thrusters at all. I can just. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, there it dug enough to uh, give us the exterior view back. So we can also like dig straight down. So I'm gonna dig straight down.
Now, it does not have enough thrust to just back straight out. You know, it's just... It's... That's not what this thing is built to do, but... It's small enough that the thing that it just dug, it can actually spin itself around in. And... Just... Now it has enough thrust... Facing... The rear, come on! You can do it! Oh, almost. It's just, it's getting hung, hung up here. We'll, we'll dig some of this out. And... Come on! <laughs> so... It's because there's nothing underneath us to, to propel us. Right there we go. So not that big of a deal. So you can see I was able to go pretty much straight up and down with it without getting stuck. Like, not a problem. You can also do the auto leveling thing and, you know, make yourself a nice little straight tunnel, I guess. So, and you can see that I've got my hover height at three meters, and it has no problem with that. It's not bouncing around. It's because it creates a perfectly round shape that this thing perfectly fits into. And see, I can wiggle back and forth in it. I can just literally turn right around and get out of here. So, there we have it, the two versions of the Mini Miner. Um, what I'll do is I'll jump out and, and we'll do this one too, well with the, should I lower it? Yeah, let's lower it, we'll lower it. Now, keep in mind, the drills, it's actually kind of hard to see in between sometimes, but you can actually, you can. So you can still, even if you left it at three meters like I did there, you can still, from standing on the ground, you can still look into the cockpit without having to jump. If you jumped, it's not a big deal at all. You just, you're in. Um, Okay, let's lower this down. Should we put it in the light here? Is that what we should do? Have it, uh, have it show a big freaking pit behind it that it just dug. There we go. It's not that bad. It's a little truckish looking, but I mean, come on, it's a mining rig, right? So, <clears throat> okay. Um, well, let's let's publish this. This looks fine. So we're gonna call this the. Oh, the mini miner. Mini miner. T one. And actually, what I'll do is I'll update my other one. I'll call it. 
call this the T2. Oh, can I not rename this? Oh, I have to do the uh, overwrite, but I don't want to do that on this one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I know what they mean, and people know what they mean because one's level 20 and one's level 10, a lot cheaper. So there we have it. Um, uh, let's publish that one. Well, enjoy. It's uh, not too expensive. It's not super cheap, but it sure handles amazing. Uh, I should have shown off how how it flies, but really what it what I wanted to show off is how it drills, and I just did. So there you guys go. Enjoy. I'm out. You guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.